Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 3. Today we are fighting Belial because, um, he wants to fight Barzai. And we need to save Barzai because apparently he knows where the Excalibur is, and we need that Excalibur to defeat Ragna to stop him from flooding our world. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, Belial is pretty easy. Uh, you want to play it somewhat defensively, though, because he does have a multi-targeting uh, Quake attack, and that can be really damaging if it hits you. He also has a multi-targeting Poison attack, which can be awful if it hits you, so be sure to equip something that will uh, protect you against poison. You should have some anti-poison accessories. Um, he has 8,000 HP, so it will take quite a while. And I would recommend not using your Gears of Time for this fight, uh, simply because we're going to have another boss fight very soon, and you're actually going to want to save your Gears of Time for that boss fight instead. Um, as much as I said to play defensively, he's really not doing much to me, so I'm going to attack with Gloria this turn as well to really try to, you know, uh, get him down, because this could be... A relatively long boss fight, um, well, long for this game, I would say it'll probably be about three or four rounds, um, but it's nothing too bad, it's nothing that you can't handle, so yeah, take him out, easy enough, um, it shouldn't be a big issue. And you should be able to also spark some good techs. Uh, during my test run here, I was actually able to spark a, uh, a healing tech for Gloria, which is pretty nice. Um, it is a, uh, a single target healing tech, and, um, you know, it's okay. I'd rather you have the multi-target healing techs, so it's not a big deal if you don't spark it. I didn't spark it this time, but it did last time. Yeah, see ya! So, to whom do I owe my gratitude? Your bar's at the siege, right? We're travelers from the other world. We came to ask you about something. Oh, so you're from Soul's world. Right. We traveled here on the Stilethanos said to have been made by Soul. But we're not sure if it's the same Stilethanos that you used to travel on. It's a possibility. In any case, anybody from Soul's World is a friend of mine. If there's any way that I can be of help, I'm gladly at your service. Actually, could you tell us anything that you know about the Sacred Swords? Oh, well, I'm not sure. All I know is that there's a Sacred Sword called Excalibur that we need to defeat Ragna. So you don't know about them. Sorry, I wish I could help. But perhaps I can guide you to somebody who can. Uh, perhaps I can can guide you? What is that game? I can guide you. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. Well, I, I, I shouldn't be bitching about it because, you know, this is a fan-translated game. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. One of them must know, so where can we find him? Okay. Charles lives at the Crystal Cape and Zakuba lives above the clouds. Huh, so we have to get the Stilethanos flying again first. In that case, you should see Charles first at the Crystal Cape of the North. I can accompany you there if you'd like. Would you? That'd help us out. We've brought the Stilethanos to the foot of the mountain. Could you head there, please? We'll meet you there. Certainly. By the way, it's not Excalibur, but one of the Sacred Swords should be in that box. Don't forget to bring it with you. All right, thanks. Hey, and we unlocked the Crystal Cape. Awesome. Yeah, the, uh, the one in the box, I believe it's the Sword of Solomon, and it is a great sword. That's why I said, um, if you wanted to... Oh, damn it. Uh, uh, that's why I said if you wanted to, um, have a cyborg, it might be a good idea, um, because the cyborgs can use great swords very, very nicely. So anyway, let's get on out of here. Just use a teleporter. And of course, I hit the wrong button constantly. And I actually want to call the Stilethanos in head on inside, uh, because we can actually talk to Barzai, but before I talk to Barzai, I want to talk to this guy and grab a whole bunch of those items that I've been collecting. Every time that it says, like, you receive item number, you know, 33 or whatever it is, um, the item ends up with that guy right there, and you can just talk to him and go ahead and grab that item. But I have too many items now, so I need to sell some stuff, so whatever shall I do? Well, hey, look at this. Barzai's on board. Yeah, and he sells you items. So you can buy all sorts of uh, decent items from him, nothing that I want or need, but uh, I am going to sell some stuff from him, and I'll meet you in a second. Okay, well, I took care of uh, all my selling needs. So yeah, anytime that you get a, uh, a member of the old Stilethanos crew to join you, they will be in that room over there, and they'll be selling you various things. He sells you items, other people can sell you magic. Um, they could sell you weapons or armors or all sorts of different stuff like that, so that's pretty handy. 
Anyway, let's take off. Yeah, let's get on out of here. And the Silithos follows you around, so if you want to take off, you know, you can just keep on going. So, let's see, the Cape Old Road. Let's head on inside. This is a new area. We uh, unlocked this area last time, but I didn't want to explore it quite yet, because there's really no need to. But now we have a need, so... Whoa! Let's go over here and grab this. Ooh! Okay, that is uh, good for four haste crystals. And whoa! Aw, oh, shit. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, these Oxo gels are a pain in the ass. They have 712 HP, um, but they're weak to fire. Pretty much everything in here is weak to fire, so we're just gonna go all out uh, with our fire magic on them. Uh, you know what? Let's heal. Yeah, I want to make sure that we're all nice and healed up, uh, because we do have a boss fight coming up relatively soon. Um, in fact, pretty much immediately following this area, we have yet under the boss fight. So you want to make sure that your Gears of Time are um, boosted up. If you did use your Gears of Time in uh, the Belial fight, I would highly recommend spending some time here and um, getting your... Um, getting your Gears of Time maxed out to 5 also. But yeah, here are the other monsters in here, and just like the Oxo Gels, they're weak to fire! So yeah, just go all out. Um, nothing that you can't handle, nothing to be worried about at all. They go down in one hit, so yeah. I'll be skipping the rest of the battles in here. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, Wind. Okay, that's uh, Curtis. Hey, you got Weapon Resistant! Nice! That can come in pretty handy. Whoa! Okay, so let's head right over here. Can I scout you? No! Okay, yeah. <laughs> I would love to scout them to uh, make my my uh, remote control a little bit more powerful, but... Ugh, it's not really worth the risk of um, getting attacked by these guys. Anyway, so yeah. It, if it's a choice between getting attacked or scouting, I would definitely say try not to get attacked. Hey, hey you got a high potion. Okay, so we got everything that we wanted to get out of here, so let's leave. And that should open up uh, another area for us. No, no place that we need to go to quite yet, because we need to head over here to the uh, aptly named Crystal Cape. Oh, okay, it's like a little town area. Well, emphasis on little. Oh, okay. Huh. So Sir Charles, he's a mage. Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to him. Charles, right? That is I. And you are? Barzai sent us. We wanted to know if you could tell us anything about the Sacred Swords. This is but rumors, perhaps, but I have heard something. What kind of rumors? Of Sacred Swords, there are four. The names, they are. The Sword of Solomon, the Masamune, the Kasunagai, and the Excalibur. Excalibur, so it's true. Unfortunately, the locations I do not know. Will this be all? There's one more thing, please. Very well. We heard that you're one of the warriors who fought against Ragna. If it's not too much trouble, would you be willing to return with us to the Silethnos to help defeat Ragna? Sacra Blue! Do not make those jokes with me. Even if I want to do this, Sol has taken her away, the Silethnos. But we've brought the Silethnos back from the other world. Oh, she's safe and secure? Yes, well, mostly. Anyway, Barzai's already joined us. But we'd like you to join us too. So Barzai's with you, very well. But there's one condition. What's that? I have the concern that Pagos, a monster that lives in the ruins of the southwest, has become too dangerous. But though you may weaken it, the monster can't be finished. Only Barzai knows the magic to do this. Alright, so if we go with Barzai to defeat this Pagos thing, then I shall accompany you on this journey. Okay, deal! Hey! So now we need to head on over to the lakeside ruins which you just unlocked in the uh, previous area. Awesome! So yeah, I've gotta say about his accent, he has like a French accent. Normally, I don't mind accents if they're done right, but he is, like, pretty much, well, I would say literally, the only character in the entire game who has a French accent, or really any accent at all, so it just seems really out of place. You know, if there was, like, a town full of, like, Frenchmen or something, then I would get it, but in this case, no. And who are you? My name's Arthur, and I'm here to get rid of you. Huh. You really think someone like you can defeat an immortal like me? What are you gonna do? Make me laugh to death? We'll never know until we try. Go ahead and try! Yikes! 
Uh oh. Hang in there, everyone. We just need to weaken it enough. Then Barzai can cast a spell. Barzai? What? Yeah, now he's scared. Okay, so this guy, he can regenerate a shit ton of HP every turn. So you want to make sure that you are going all out. Um, if you don't have to heal, don't. Just keep on going all out as much as humanly possible. Uh, he regenerates right, roughly uh, 1,400 HP per round. And the one person that he attacked so far is Nemesis. And Nemesis is also the one person that I do not care if she dies. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, present drive 3,460 damage. That's really nice. Really good damage there. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. He, in total, he has 9,750 HP. So he can be pretty difficult. And there he goes with his uh, regen. I'm not going to bother healing right now because if Nemesis dies, I really don't care. But one thing that I do want to just try is um, I have a nuclear bomb and it says it deals dangerously high levels of damage. So let's see how much damage it deals. Hey, why not? You know, this is the one round, the one uh, time that we really got a holy crap deal a lot of damage. Let's give it a shot. Hey, hey, whoa, that's even more damage than uh, Sharon can do with her silence attack. Nice. But now that Gloria got attacked, I am going to want to heal up. Um, because if she dies, that could be pretty bad. She is my main healer after all. Curtis can do backup, but I do want to make sure that uh, she stays alive. Ugh. But then I'm kind of questioning because I also got to say that, you know, it would be nice if, um, Oh, no. Get get out of here. Okay, uh, wait. Just turn my on. Okay, no. I'm so confused right now. Okay, you need to go out of here. Okay, you, Blaze. There we go. Okay, yeah, you have to hit the directional buttons to move it back and forth. So, there we go. Keep on moving. Against Pagos himself. Yeah, I want to make sure that I use Cura um, to keep her alive. We should be doing fine. I mean, Sharon herself can deal over a thousand damage just to her, so I don't think that the regain of 1400 is really that big of a deal. Huh, not bad. Still, even with such strength, you can't kill that which can't die. Maybe we can't, but Barzai can. The Sage? It's been a long time, Pegos. Even after your death, you've remained in this world to serve the will of Ragna. You make it sound as though I have a choice. I have not revealed the whole story. Ragna bound my spirit to this world. I must obey Ragna or be obliter obliterated. But perhaps that ends today. Barzai, you must use your spell to return my spirit to its rightful place. Say no more, Pegos. Of course I will. All just as that bastard predicted. Predicted? What? Pegos, I release you under the heavens. Children, close the water gates within these ruins that will empty the lake and open the way to the desert. Farewell, Sage Barzai. Oh, he actually wanted to, uh, be killed, I guess. You know, he was sick of, uh, staying here. Yeah, okay. So we need to continue into the ruins and close the water gates, and we will do that next time. And let's play Saga 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.